and I came across this styrofoam human skull wrapped in plastic. You know this already, but relatively soon I will die and my body will melt into the earth. You also know that the styrofoam skull will outlive all of us. We start off in a Dollar Tree as a man is shopping for his daughter's birthday party, and we are left with watching this decaying pig from a series of this stop motion sequence with photographs. He leaves us with this last known statement as we cut to this landfill of piles of plastic and uh, wreckage. And he states, the styrofoam skull will outlive us all. And a sound bowl effect comes into play as we reflect on this statement. And you see these tidbits uh, of thoughts peep into our mind and uh, these irrational fears and, you know, um, negative thoughts at that pop on the screen. I like that we get to share this darker moment uh, over this reflection of this harsh truth. The ending with the sounds of the checkout line was a nice touch as well. So this is a unique a unique expression of the human condition, um, which was what I enjoyed about this film, with the short rather, about life and death, etc. Um, it it's it is a unique way of a subject sort of expressing his um, into existentialism and how that sort of expresses. I do like how that is compressed in such a short time, um, um, which I think sort of speaks to I guess the nature of existentialism and um that it doesn't need to be this sort of long extended talk um, and explanation but it can be um expressed in just very few words well it was fascinating to watch this filmmaker go through the dollar store and show us this styrofoam skull and be so frustrated that he knows that we know that it's never going to process through the earth. It's going to be in the landfills forever. And in his action piece of it rotating around on the screen and showing us negative commentary, you get the idea that it's spam or hate comments from online social posts. And I think he just wants us to make the connection that these things are wasteful and pointless. And really, there is no room for it. Yet here it is. I think... His anger is directed in the right place, that we need to do something about it, and that he's bringing more awareness to the problem just by making the film. This is an outstandingly interesting exercise. They bring us these disturbing images and quite disturbing thoughts as well. It is sad and depressive, but then you see this progressive decay of the piglet as this self-fulfilling prophecy it's just simple yet quite profound and it is just deep uh, as well as tragic. I definitely thought it was taking the approach of a very environmental message, uh, especially talking about the fact that it's going to outlive all of us. And that's kind of when I, I went from, oh, cool, it's, a styrofoam skull to, oh, it's a styrofoam skull, uh, seeing it more as a symbolic meaning of it's a styrofoam skull wrapped in plastic, two things that are pretty detrimental to humanity. Uh, then there was also the, uh, the rotting pig and the skull basically going after your insecurities. Uh, it definitely, those two de parts definitely made this uh, a lot more unnerving. There was a very eerie element to it, uh, especially with the insecurities where it felt like the skull itself was talking to you or like mocking you. 
it goes from the the statistics about styrofoam and how long it lasts in our landfills to mental illness, which I was not expecting. It went when this skull is being placed and the words come across it. It's the negative self-talk that a lot of people do, especially with mental illness. And it was unexpected to see in this film because I really thought it was just going to be talking about this styrofoam skull. And the skull actually is a metaphor for human beings along with the physical styrofoam skull that will outlive us all. It's It was a very interesting way to put several messages in one short film that's less than four minutes. I don't think I've ever seen like a surrealist of saddest documentary before, so that was real treat and really really interesting to see the kind of expansion in the documentary form the very event of that. And it very manages to be both very funny but also quite dark. Almost kind of upsetting. It probes ideas of mortality, decomposition, waste pollution. I think they're timely but also fascinating, really cleverly drawn together to kind of you know, at the end of the same. Oh, you just love it. Yeah.